G'day guys, welcome back. I'm going to today put a, um, a waterline system on a TF035 turbo. So two water pool of lines. I'm going to tap into the, um, the heater system of the vehicle. So we're going to use two T's, going to tap into the existing uh, uh, hose lines. So um, it's going to cut them, put these in, clamp them. And this is high, high um, pressure and heated resistant silicon line. So this is um, what I'm using. I think you can see the, uh, the measurements there. It's made in the USA, so uh, that's what we're doing. And I don't know if you can see, that's the part descriptions. Um, let's see if I can put that there. So that's what I've got. And I've yeah, got it from Hydrolink. And that's the cost there. Um, I actually got um, 1.2 meters of line. So these are the fittings that are going to go into the turbo. Okay, so where are we? Here we go. So this end here, whoop, that will actually go into the turbo itself. So you've got a, a feed in and a feed out. The washer is all you need. No silicon, nothing. You don't want it to go in the turbo. So that's all we use. This attachment you can spin it to adjust it. That's just going to screw straight up. Nothing else required. Let's see if we've got that on camera. Yep. So there are the dash, was it AN dash four, six, or whatnot. Um, I end up going with this system. Oh, sorry about that. Um, the line itself, the hose, don't need any actual clamps. This will just compress straight onto the very end and uh, these barbs here will hold it on. It's basically push on and they're on there forever. You gotta cut the line to get them off. So you've got two of these fittings, crush washer as I was just saying, and uh, it's gonna run the line up along the firewall to where I need it. So that's all we need there. Like I said, it's about 1.2 meters of hose. So I've got the two fittings and your, your T's. So these are barbed T's, they're called. And if you haven't watched the channel before, this is the uh, Pajero, of course. So that's where I'm going to be hooking up the water lines for the turbo. So it's hard to see. But down in here is where we're going to be fitting the, um, the lines up around the firewall and then over to the heater lines. So before we can do that, I've got to undo this hose here and take it off and the intercooler with this hose here as well. So I'll get the intercooler away, got a couple of bolts and move that right away and I can access everything a little bit easier. Okay, so I've got a lot better access now into the actual turbo. Still a heat shield and that doesn't really help, but um, should be able to get down into there. Um, there's, off the side here, should have a torch. There's two holes just there, they're facing out, inlet and outlet. I don't know which is which, uh, I don't think it really matters which way it cycles through um, but if it's incorrect I can just swap them around later so I've got access the intercooler is unplugged unbolted so that was four bolts for that and uh, your two cables here so here's my heater line sorry there's my heater line so I'm going to now um, just take it off, I'm going to check that my barbs are the right size and um, 
yeah, this is where I'm going to tee into. So I'm going to now measure what line I need. You can do it with a bit of string beforehand. Um, measure before you cut, obviously. I'm going to put this adapter in and then um, find this point. So I've got to go to the shed and get a um, an open ender for those two sizes. So as you do, trip number 364. Okay, I've got some torches set up, so that's where I'm going down into. But I need a bit more height, so I've got this. Stool. Some over here. And that should be good to go down to and you can see the hole there and then my bullet so that's where I'm tapping into okay so the plan is I'm going to install that into the turbo first it's a 17 and uh, I'm going to put it on with the socket tighten it up we'll do both them then I can attach the elbow tighten it up and then put the hose onto that hopefully want to mention too, just make sure you've got it on the right end that's screwing in. So you've got the rounded end, it's got a face outwards and the elbow will connect onto that. Okay, Okay, so I've got them in but um, I'm not real happy with it. I'm going to try it and I'm going to continue but you can see how they're not threaded all the way in. I've taken the crush washer off um, but they are quite snug, they're in a fair bit, it's just it won't go any further, so I don't want to strip anything, but hopefully it's enough. And I'll uh, continue, if not I'll just have to take them out and um, redo it later, but I'll see what happens once I do get it going and start up. So I'm going to work the bottom one on first, and tighten it up, and then do the second one or the top one. Right, so bear in mind, this would be best when you have the uh, engine out or the turbo out. 
I'd fit these two fittings if possible because of the lack of room and space. Um, I need 18 socket, I couldn't get an 18 socket, I don't have one. So I've got to tighten this up by the 19, the outside one. And as you can see now, I've got interference from that clamp, which I've tried to back off. Um, so I'm gonna have to try and bend this spanner to go into there, hopefully. So another hiccup. I just got an old screwdriver and shaved down either side. And I'm gonna use this as a wedge between the um, uh, the black A and that. A and N fitting. Um, so I'm going to wedge it in like that as a, a wedge to stop that um, first uh, fitting turning, if that makes sense. Next step bend the 19 mil <laughs> to get around more shit. So here's a bit of a bird's eye view of what I'm dealing with. Getting tension on this, but keeping the um, the actual connection facing towards the firewall so the other one will fit the hose will go past it they won't get um, jammed together and here's a bit of a tip using the uh, 19 open ender um, of course it's got to be the right length and bend and everything and I'm being able to tighten this other one up and then slide the um, spander off the end hopefully So I'm happy with the, how taut that is. And it come off, oh thank goodness. Whew. Okay, so it's all together. I'm just doing the uh, cable ties, buttoning things up. So if you can see them behind the mess, it's basically the heater hose here, the vehicle, a T-piece, the line going over the turbo. I've got this plastic, uh, this white bit of hose. I've cut it and just put it around it as a shroud, a cover because of the um, clamp there, might rub it. So I don't want that to happen. And just cable type things. Um, it doesn't look the best, but um, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna work. So I'll go around the other side. And I'm not gonna lie to you, it wasn't easy. It's was just two bolts, basically two fittings, screw them up and, and put a hose on because of the situation, the location, everything. Not having, you know, extra one or two tools here and there, but it's on now. It should also, it's oil cooled, obviously, and now the water's hooked up. Um, I should have done a lot earlier, but anyway. Um, so I'll cable tie these up and uh, might uncross them like that. So yeah, not going to see it anyhow once the intercoolers back on. But yeah, down in in the bottom there. Um, can't really see once again because it's just a pain, but it's basically uh, two A&M fittings and uh, that's it. Alright, so I'll um, tidy all up, put it back together and uh, see what possible leaks are going to make me cry. The finished product as they say. So it's a bit hard to see down there, but these are two fittings and i had to put them in the position they are to get by each other and um, it was just how it worked out after tightening and tightening and backing off and getting the elbows positioned correctly but um yeah it's uh looked a lot untidy before but i'm pretty happy with it now you can see most of it in there the intercooler's on um so i'm gonna fire it up and see if there's any leaks so, um, do that now. Ooh, better check it's out of gear. It is dead cold, so... we we'll have to take it for a really good drive to see if there's any leaks, but... Um, I think my compressor's gone, start the bearings gone.
So that's the fittings in from this angle. Fingers crossed that once it takes a good run, heat it all up. Um, and that's for sure there. Oh, until next time guys, if you like this uh, content, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, hit the notification of course, it all helps. Aiming for a thousand subscribers, um, getting close, but uh, it all helps. Alright guys, till next time.